Hey guys, today I'm going to walk through how to set up Obsidian if you're going to use it as a student. So first we're going to go to the obsidian.md website and download the program. It will give us the launcher and we'll just hit install. While we're waiting for it to install, let's go through what Obsidian is and what it's not. It's a really good way to organize, write, and structure your notes. Essentially, it's a well-designed note-taking app. What it is not is a time manager. It will not magically make you study or smarter. You'll have to do that. This is just a tool to help with it. So if we launch the program, we are asked to create a new vault. A vault is just a fancy name for where you store all your notes. You can have multiple vaults, but they can't access each other. I'll just name mine Student Vault. And I guess we'll put it on my desktop. So the best way I've found to structure your notes is to use lists and indexes. You might hear other people call these maps of content. Essentially, they're the same thing, but maps of content is some jargon to make it confusing for newcomers. This is essentially just a page of links to other pages. It allows you to really easily get to what you need to do. Personally, I really like to use this naming system of files, where you prefix the name with a set of numbers. I like to have my notes structured in a way that if I need to reference between them, I can use the least amount of keystrokes possible. By this, I mean if I type in 000, it will give me the index, but if I type in 011, it will give me the first year of college and so on. So I'll show you how I set this up. First of all, I create a note, and I call it 000 index. And then for a subcategory, I call it 010 college in my case. And if I want something inside of college, for instance, first year or second year, I would call it 011 first year, 012 second year. This way, when I'm typing linking notes, I only have to type in 011 and it will give me first year. Personally, I'm not a fan of the base Obsidian theme, so we will install some custom themes and set them up. If we click the settings icon and go to appearance, we will see this option for theme. We are going to select manage and now you can scroll through and find one. Personally, I am a fan of minimal theme. What is cool about this theme is that they have an accompanying plugin which lets you change the colors for headings, text, buttons until you find something you like. I'm going to choose the minimal theme. Then we're going to jump over to community plugins and look up style setting. If we enable this plugin, we can see all of the different options that we can use to customize our style. I like having strong colors to separate everything, as I think it's easier to find what I need quicker. So for heading 1, I'm going to choose red. For heading 2, I'm going to choose yellow. For heading 3, green. And for heading 4, a dark blue. You can switch this between light and dark mode settings, but I tend to stick with dark mode when using Obsidian. In one of the newest Obsidian releases, they've started to display the note name at the top of the file, which I'm not a huge fan of, but you can disable this in the appearance settings. Now that we have the style set up, we'll go through how I usually structure my notes. The first thing I do when I open a note is make a link section. This essentially allows you to really quickly jump between different notes and keep track of where you are. Then I will type the note name without the number prefix in heading 1, which is one hashtag and a space. And I set up my index as I normally would, which for first year would include my different modules, like maths, physics, and chemistry. You can see with the D's modules, I extend their prefix with a hyphen. This allows me to reference them later without having a big long line of numbers. So if we actually go inside this maths note, we will see that it's empty. Again, I'm going to create my link section, this time linking index and first year. Then separate semester 1 and 2 and the respective modules in each. Depending on how many modules and classes you have, you can switch this approach up and just have direct links from the first year note. But personally, I had a lot of modules, so it would have gotten quite cluttered. If we go inside the linear algebra note, we will set up the links again, then this is where the actual content will go. I usually structure it having lectures first, then problem sets, assessment, and finally exam preparation. Now if we look at this side panel, we can see that our vault, or our notes folder, is getting a bit crowded. We can fix this by making a folder inside of it, calling this content, then naming subfolders with the prefix code we already have. This lets you have a really well organized folder system, as long as you stick to it. Anyway, we'll move these notes into this maths folder. I'll compare what we just made to what I use on a daily basis. So we can see that this is my index note for my actual notes vault. As you can see, we have the different subsections like college, coding, productivity, development, and they all have their prefix codes. You can see that I've kind of messed around with it a bit and their prefix codes are outside of the links and also inside of the links. This was just when I was starting to use Obsidian and I haven't had time to clean it up. 
We can see how all of this connects if we go to the graph view. And you can see that my third year note here connects to a lot of stuff. It also connects to this purple thing, which is the index note, because the link at the top means that everything connects to this index note. As for the best plugins to have, there's only a few that I actually think are worth having. One of them is called Reading Time. It's a simple plugin that adds an estimated reading time to your note, which is really useful if you have a really long note and you want to know how long it's going to take you to get through it. Another one that's worth having is Quick LaTeX for Obsidian, if you're into LaTeX typing. It allows you to make your own and make it allows you to make your own shortcuts in LaTeX when you're typing. I'll show you a couple of mine, but I might make a video in future going through this in more detail. It's really useful and it allows you to rewrite equations really quickly. The file explorer note count is also pretty handy. It allows you to see how many total notes you have in your notes vault. Daily stats is a nice one too if you're trying to keep track of your progress over a day. Obsidian Git is a really nice way to back up your notes. If you're using Linux and Windows machines, you're able to quickly go between each using this backup feature instead of using OneDrive perhaps. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and leave a comment down below.